Hey guys, I've been invited on a mission down the west coast of the South Island today to an old coal mine. There's a T-Rex 8240 dozer that's been sitting for about 15 years. The owners decided to sell it so he pulled it out of the forest with a D9 and it's just sitting on the side of the road where we can work on it. So we're going to try and get it running today, uh, load it on a low bed and take it away to be restored. The fellas I'm hanging out with today are seasoned veterans at fixing heavy machinery so I'll let them do the work. I'll film the process, help them out where I can and maybe learn a thing or two along the way. There it is, what a monster! Came from all the way up in the back there. Yep. They towed it out with the D9. All right. If you walk through there and walk up, you'll see the mine, and it was the way out on the other side of that. Okay. Still get parts for? Um, bit of a struggle. Yeah. But there's quite a few lying around in the country, and you know that haven't gone or anything. They've already rat a few, and yeah, get secondhand stuff probably, and. All, right. All the drive train and everything you can probably still get new. Yep. Mm. So they pulled pulled something out of there to get it to roll, didn't they? Yeah, I pulled the little axles in there. Oh yeah. <coughs> so they are out at the moment. Yep. That's what the deal will run up to make sure we've got bloody transmission pressure and all that. Yeah. Because they've got spring brakes on them. Oh, the yeah. brakes are locked on on them. Yep. And you've got to have hydraulic pressure to get them off. Okay. Well, yeah. transmission pressure. Yeah. So we don't know if any of that works or not. No. We're just pulling the belly plate out so we can get under and put the new starter motor in. This is the dummy pinion Brownie has made to see if the engine is turning um, and make sure it's not seized. Uh, we'll bolt that on the starter motor mount and see if we can turn it before we put the starter motor in. Oh, is this turning? Oh, that's a relief. It makes life easier. Just using a rope to raise that starter motor into position. It's quite heavy. Work, work. Down and weave it. You got it? Take a bit of strain. Okay, go up. Work. <laughs> 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 somewhere near. You lost a fucking bolt. Right. What are these ones here? No, there's one for the starter motor. 
Just on the top, somewhere. You gonna be right with two? Oh, you're trying me out. <laughs> you're trying me out, son. What have I got myself into? Not only are we up against it, the cops lose the f***ing bolt. <laughs> Alright, we've got the starter motor in place. Um, we'll top up all the fluids and see if we can get it turning over. Let's hold it by there. A whole lot of water. So I'm we better get some fucking ether. And John, you better get up there and make sure I get some oil pressure on that up too. I don't know if we're going to have enough grunt here to wind this. Just using the excavator to see if we can get a few more amps into that starter motor, uh, but it's not looking good. It looks like we've got an issue with that starter motor, um, it's not turning over anymore. So the plan now is to get the blade off and we'll have to push it on the transporter with the D9. Uh, get it back to the workshop. Most of the bolts are quite badly rusted, so we'll have to use the gas axe to get a lot of them. Yeah, it's moving, I think. Something's moving. Yeah. Beautiful. Must be a couple of ton on that thing. Yeah, four ton there at least. Yeah. Good go. Not far I'm all high yet. You're all right, you'll get through there.
Well, unfortunately we couldn't get it running today. Uh, there's something wrong with that starter motor. It just doesn't have the torque to turn the engine over. But we've got it ready to push on the transporter with the D9, so it can be taken to the workshop. The boys are going to strip it down and restore it. It's going to be a long-term project, but I'll try to follow their progress, and uh, hopefully we can see it back in action, pushing some dirt when it's all finished. Thanks for coming along today, guys. We'll see you next time.